materials required are wax block, measuring scale, divider, lacron cover with sharp and blunt end. First, we'll smoothen the wax block to get an even surface. And label buccal aspect, palatal or the lingual aspect, mesial aspect, distal aspect. Now we will start drawing the midline on all the four aspects. Let's start marking the crown and the root length. Length of the crown 7.5 mm, length of the root buccal 12 mm, lingual 13 mm. From the occlusal aspect, it is rhomboidal in shape. Let's draw the rhomboidal shape and remove the excess wax. Draw outline of four cusp that is mesiolingual being the larger followed by mesiobuccal, distolingual, distobuccal. Make triangular fossa on the mesial and the distal sides. Start making the distolingual cusp, make semicircular groove and make the cusp slopes on either sides. Distolingual is the smallest of all the cusps. Make the buckle groove by extending upper line on the buckle surface till the mesiolingual cusp. Start making the distobuckal cusp. Carve the mesiobuccal cusp. Make the ridge continuous to the mesiolingual cusp and also make the mesiolingual cusp. Start carving the oblique ridge that crosses the occlusal surface obliquely. It is the union of triangular ridge of the distobuccal cusp and the distal ridge. Make central transverse groove. Make the buccal and lingual developmental groove. From buccal aspect, crown is roughly trapezoidal. We will start carving 
cusp of caryophylli which is present on the lingual surface of the mesolingual cusp cusp ridge is approximately 2 mm cervical to the cusp ridge of the mesolingual cusp Now we are done with the carving of the occlusal aspect. Now we will start the root carving. Draw mesobuccal and distobuccal root outline. Start removing wax from the mesial and the distal side. Start making pits from both sides. Remove wax from the bifurcation area. Buccal roots are bifurcated at 5 mm above the cervical line. Mesobuccal, distobuccal, and the palatal roots are well separated. The cervical third of roots from all the aspects should be carved concave. Palatal root is the longer root, and the distal buccal is the smallest of all the three. Now let's polish the tooth. Let's draw the cervical outline which is 1 mm below in the mesial side. 